You've been listening to Rockline, brought to you in part by Budweiser. For all you do, this Bud's for you. Rockline is engineered by Jimmy Height, Conrad Pignon, Jim Pettyjohn, and Steve Thume, and mixed on Yamaha professional sound equipment. Special production by Jimmy Rash. Technical direction by Jim Nelson. Our thanks to Sharon Sanchez, C.W. West, and Kevin Stevens for their special help. Rockline is produced by Mark Felsot, executive producer Howard Gilman. Rockline is a presentation of the Global Satellite Network for distribution in the United States by the ABC Rock Radio Network. You are the girl in my dreams, the cars. My guest tonight on Rockline, I'm Bob Coburn. Your number to call is toll-free from anywhere in North America, 1-800-344-ROCK. Our first call tonight is Kurt. He is in Blacksburg, Virginia, listening to Rock 105 WVVV, serving Blacksburg and Christianburg. Kurt, good evening. Uh, good evening. Hi, how are you? Pretty good. How is everybody doing out there? We're mm, great. Okay. I have a question for both of the guys. With all the bands that have come and gone, you've been together for quite a while, and I wondered what your secret is for staying together as long as you have. Uh, we're blood brothers. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, we don't have a secret. We just, like, uh, get along when we need to. Now, there were all those rumors for so long, and I guess this is a good point just to put all those to rest. This this pretty well dispels the uh, the cars are breaking up thing, which has been... How did that start? Do you have any idea? It's been five years that's been going around. Yeah, I don't know how it started. I think we started it. You started it. <laughs> well, we thought it would be good to get the tension, you know. It certainly is not going to happen, and things look pretty good right now. We'll be back in just one moment with Ben Orr and Rick Okasik. We've just gotten started with an evening with the cars tonight on Rockline. Call us toll-free from anywhere in North America, 1-800-344-ROCK, and we'll put you on the rock line. back. We have just gotten started. I'm Bob Coburn. It's an evening with the cars tonight on Rockline. Our next call is from Rahway, New Jersey, a listener of 92.3 K-Rock in New York. Ken, welcome back on the show. Hi there, BC. Well, I should say the same to you since you weren't here the last time I called here. That's right. Rita was in. Yeah. Anyway, uh, one of the things I've, I've really been upset about recently is the use of, of rock and roll in commercials. I think it's gone a little out of hand. And I'd like to ask you gentlemen, do you think that uh, it is uh, being done to excess, and uh, have you ever been asked to endorse a product? You like the Coke and Pepsi stuff, yeah. and anything else you can think of. <laughs> yeah, we, we've never, uh, we've, ne we would never use a song for that kind of thing. I don't think. Uh, I don't really agree with the whole premise either of uh, using song. I think that there's professional jingle writers who can do that kind of stuff, uh, and I don't. I think it's a good idea. So you draw the line at, at using Unless it's songs. Real to... good money. <laughs> 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 so you, you draw the line at using songs. How how about somebody uh, co-oping a tour or something like that? Would you go for something like that? Uh, no, I wouldn't go for that. We wouldn't go for that. That's become I very common leave, these days. We won't go for that. Unless the money's real good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be real good, though. <laughs> All right. There you go, Ken. Thanks for the call. And uh, they're holding their ground, their little integrity. Thank goodness. Let's talk now to Eric in Indianapolis listening to Q95. Eric, good evening. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Oh, my two greatest guys in rock and roll. Uh, I'd love to talk with you a long time, but my question is directed to Ben. Fine. Um, on your up-and-coming tour, hopefully, and I hope it should come to Indianapolis... Is there any chance we'll be hearing any stuff from your solo album, which I think is an excellent album, and it seems like almost every song has the potential of being a top hit? Well, thanks for that. That's very nice to hear. Um, we, we've discussed it, and we probably won't do anything like that. Probably save that for some future date, uh, some personal concert kind of thing. I think this is the cars, and I think we'll keep it that way. Well, and there certainly is a lot of solo material to choose from, too, with a lot of members of the band releasing solo records over the past three years. Good call, Eric, and uh, I hope they come to Indianapolis, too. I do have some concert dates I'll announce momentarily. This will be a massive worldwide tour, but I have the opening part that will announce shortly. Let's head now to Alamo, Texas. We're going to talk to a gentleman named Rick. He's listening to 99X in Brownsville, Texas. Hi, Rick. How are you doing? Hello. Hey, hello. Uh, first of all, I'd like to congratulate Bob on a great program. Thank you. And, uh... My question is, uh, how would, uh, for the cars, how would you compare your first album, such as 
cars, Candio, Panorama to uh, the new app from Sekera, Parker City, and door to door. Uh, well, they're all newer than those records. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's hard to compare them. I don't know. To me, they're just, uh, you know, what you've learned and, and uh, you know, just a step up from those records. Uh, I like them all, so I don't really know. I, we, it's hard for us to compare inside the record. It's easier for people that are listening on the outside to compare those records, I think. That's fair enough. There, there are a couple of songs that are on this album that you have had for a long, long time, though. Is, is that the case? There's two songs that were, uh, we used to play in our club set back in 1978. Those would be uh, Tata Weo Weo and... Uh, Leave or Stay, I think. Leave or Stay, yeah. right. So, in, in a way, this is an amalgamation of, of past and, and present and uh, direction toward the future. Thank you for your call, Rick. We appreciate it. Thanks for your comment, too. I'm going to play a song now that appears only on the Greatest Hits album by The Cars. It's called Tonight She Comes on Rockline.